Hello everyone, it is Alex from the Gaming Guys coming to you live from uh, Alex's computer and right now I am playing through something called Anomaly Warzone Earth and uh, it's one of the feature games of Humble Indie Bundle number 5 and I highly suggest that you guys check that bundle out because what's increasingly special about it is that you can actually play all the games on your Android phone if you have an Android phone. However, this is a big disappointment to obviously iOS users, seeing as they don't really uh, have an Android, obviously. So uh, we're just gonna go with uh, Android. So the whole objective of this game, I'll show you guys. I have played through the first half of the major story campaign, and the whole style of this game is more of a reverse tower defense, where you have to lead a group of men or at least your convoy, to the end of a mission or just to complete objectives. So, now I'm in Tokyo, you began in Baghdad, and you figure out units, so I figured, uh, yes, I play on casual too, because I like enjoying my games, and I don't really feel like having this much of a challenge. So the whole objective of this mission is that I have to at least get to the end of, let's see, I don't know, uh, I have to go like to some rally point right now, and uh, there are some new units that I encounter along the way called hackers, and I played a little bit through this mission before, so I obviously know that it's not really such a big deal. Okay, skip, skip, skip. Now, you first get this screen when you finally get the option to decide what your convoy wants to look like. So right now I have four units. There are six units in the game altogether, so I do not know what the next two units are, but my favorite formation is putting an APC first with a crawler and then another crawler. Then if I have enough... Oh, I do have enough money. Then I'll put an APC behind it because the APCs are big on armor, so... And they attract the enemy first. And so they draw their fire while the crawlers obviously destroy the units since they have better attack. And the whole story behind this game is that you're facing aliens that popped out out of nowhere at these major cities where alien ships have crashed. So, your whole goal is to find these two ships. You succeed in Baghdad, so that wasn't such a big deal. But now you are in the wonderful city of Tokyo. And right now there's a scorch mark uh, that is left by a wonderful thing called a... I forget what it's called. I don't know. You expect me to know these things. Damn it, Alex. God. Yeah, it's pretty big. Oh, God. That sucks a lot. So, this whole game... You really want to, uh, I think, yeah. And there are also, there are four special abilities. There's Repair, there's Decoy, there's Airstrike, and there's Smokescreen. Now, Repair is pretty straightforward. Decoy obviously draws the fire from all the units in the area around to this one Decoy unit. Obviously, Airstrike calls an Airstrike, and Smokescreen masks your unit's position, so it's not such a big deal if they... Uh, actually shoot your unit. So right now I'm going to use a mask so that long range unit, which completely obliterates all my other units, cannot really use it as effectively as it would. And I'm getting my ass kicked. So the thing about this is that it's such a, like, a huge unit that also my... since you control this hero too, you obviously get preoccupied with a lot of other things. So you may not remember that uh... You obviously have this unit. And right now, oh god, stop dying. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. So, as you can see, here's the convoy. It's obviously moving forward up the road. You can't stop it, but however, you can change the route, like so. You may be prone to do other certain things, but. So, I can go like this way, I can go that way, I can change this way. It just all depends on where you want to have your units actually go. So, I think I'm gonna make them actually go this way. Yeah, yeah, that seems like the best way. And, uh,. There are these things called, uh, Corniseum? Corniseum? I don't know, I'm blanking on the name. So, I'm sorry about that. Oh, crap. No. Oh, Jesus. Uh, well, that just made it more complicated. Fine. New battle tactics. Okay. God, to destroy all these hacker drones. That sucks. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can do this. 
So yeah, so this is like a basic mission where you get a uh, lower objective, then you get obviously a higher objective. So my whole goal right now, like I, something I love about this game, why it's so great, and it was such a great deal in the Humble Indie Bundle, is that you use a lot of strategy, and also it's obviously a very like an action-oriented game. So I get both, which I very well, very much thoroughly enjoy. So obviously it's a huge, huge thing for me. And these things, like I said, oh Jesus! And like these things, I said, I think they're Cornesam, Cornesam. I can't remember exactly the name. It begins with a C, so don't exactly quote me on that. But they give you money so you can purchase units and. Purchasing units is actually very helpful for you to sometimes, or maybe you want to purchase upgrades instead. And I think upgrades are actually more helpful than the actual units, because it actually doubles your unit strength. So it's like you're having an extra unit, except it's like a little bit tougher, and it actually does more damage. Oh god, and now they're influenced by the wonderful hacker machine, so I'm going to call an airstrike down that, just because it's a bitch. Oh! Uh, let's see, maybe I'll use... Ah, decoy, duh. That's how I solve these problems. Okay, so that's dead. Ah, oh, Christ. They're attacking me! No, get away! No. So yeah, this is... The thing that... Oh, shh. Cock muncher. So the thing about this is that actually, uh... Obviously... Oh, cool, I can buy a unit. So... Here's the buy screen. You can easily put a unit wherever you want to. I'll put that there. The One thing about this is it throws like these new, different gameplay changing elements at you, so it's not obviously not the same old, same old over and over again. So you actually have <laughs> like a fulfilled, a, like a good time when you're playing this, because that's definitely very important for everyone who plays this game. And I, this game is on Steam for like ten dollars, so it's an amazing deal if you want to get it. Uh, for so many dollars. So, that covers the basic outline of this game, where it's a more reverse tower defense where you have set objectives instead of just defending one point or trying to get to that one point like a regular tower defense game does. But it combines all these great gameplay elements. So I highly recommend you guys support the indie developers, obviously. They are very smart and they'll probably and uh, you probably can't do better. I'm not saying that's a challenge, but I'm saying that they do put in a lot of effort in these games, and it's very important that you guys support them. So, I just want to remind you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys next time.